One option that you have within D2L is to respond to a prompt with an audio or a video response. I can do that even with something like a discussion board post. So my teacher has created this prompt and I want to respond to it. If I scroll down below this box and click on add attachments, there's an option here for me to record. If I choose video, it's going to prompt me to turn on my camera. And I might get this little pop up here where it wants to use your camera and microphone. I'm going to allow that. And there I am. Hello. So I can make a little recording here with my response that I want to submit to my teacher. So here is my really inspiring discussion post that I want to share. And when I'm finished recording, I just click preview and I can preview that. And if I choose to do it again, then I can click record new recording. Or if I'm happy with what's there, then I can click add. And I can just say this is Miss A's video response. The audio language I'm going to say is English, um, which is cool because it can actually generate closed captions, which could be useful. And I might just say, here is my discussion post. I'm going to click add. If I don't want to use my camera, I also have the option here to record audio and that'll just record my voice. So now you can see that I've attached my video response and I might enter a subject. Um, you know, so here is my career, da, 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 whatever, like I still want to put a title here and I might even tell people to please check out my video post response so that people know what they're looking for. And then I'm going to click post. So now when my peers and my teacher look for my response, you can see that I have posted it as a video and they'll be able to see me use my strengths um, and use my video, my voice to respond to that prompt instead of using my fingers to type out a response. I hope you enjoy using VideoNote.